Good morning, everybody. Live and direct on multiple platforms for this morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onnick, currently on YouTube, Periscope, Google+, and hopefully this thing is working, Twitter. So thanks for joining me on News Channel 3. I'm kind of on two different screens right now. This one on my phone right here that we're seeing here that you may be watching on Periscope, and then this one if you're taking a look at what's going on in and around the area on our video weather blog weather overtime this is what you see when you tune into google plus or youtube me down here in the corner you got your forecast information right back over here and then back over into the area some temperature information throughout the rest of the day all available on these various social media platforms so keep it tuned we'll have more on that your next three hour forecast looks like this again temperatures throughout the rest of the day today will be quite mild we'll be seeing chances of a few scattered showers out there not a lot of activity going on but we will be seeing again the potential for more chances of showers coming up as we get into around the area of this morning and into this afternoon temperatures the also the big story will be dropping into the rest of the day as a cold front makes its way into the area we'll see the possibility of chances of scattered showers across much of the mid-south change my display around so I can see things a little better. A few chances of sprinkles here and there, but otherwise not really looking at too much of anything to worry about so far. So good news on that. And temperatures again making their way downwards. This is not going to be an Arctic blast, but it is going to be seeing again the potential for some more showers out there and numbers will drop by just a bit. We could use some more rainfall. No rain yesterday for the Mid-South area and we are behind for the month and for the year by over an inch. So we could definitely use a little bit more information. Not just tied, but we shattered a record high yesterday. The old one was 76, set back in 1999. We managed to make 79 degrees our new high, record high temperature for Saturday. And that low temperature yesterday morning, 63, where we should be a normal of 36. So some very cool conditions out there this morning. Mild, I guess you would call it, but nowhere near the normals of what we could get to the Mid-South. Let's go ahead and get into the forecast and show you what we're going to be looking for. Rest of the day, again, the possibility as a new cold front makes its way through the Mid-South, we could be seeing some temperatures again a little cooler north of I-40 and then south of I-40. We could be looking again at temperatures just a bit on the brisk side as those winds pick up and we start to see again the potential for scattered showers here and there. North of this front, we start to see again the potential for some dry and cooler air making its way down from the north to the south and that's going to keep some very nice conditions out there today. It's not going to be an Arctic blast, not going to be seeing again huge amounts of cold air coming through, but you will notice the wind turning to the northwest and the temperatures slowly working their way downwards throughout the course of the rest of the day. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors throughout the rest of the day as well, as temperatures will be a bit on the brisk side toward this evening. It will be dry. The chances of rainfall will be gone basically by mid-morning, and that should be about all that we see out there in the way of rainfall through tonight and into tomorrow morning bus stop temperatures for the kids for school buses out there this is going to be again a pretty chilly start to the day we'll be seeing temperatures back in the mid to upper 30s to the lower 40s now combine that with winds coming out of the north and east it could be seeing the possibility of some more wind chills into tomorrow morning so keep that in mind if you're going to be going out for that early morning stroll or jog in the mid-south area around East Arkansas, West Tennessee, or Northern Mississippi. Rest of the forecast toward mid-morning on Monday. Temperatures will be cooler, only back in the upper 40s to lower 50s by lunchtime. Dismissal time for the kids and dinner time, that'll be the peak of the day, and temperatures will be very close to normal back into the lower to mid-50s across much of the area. So not seeing again a lot in the way of very warm conditions like we're seeing right now. That cold air sweeping on through is going to be doing a very good job of keeping things very much on the cooler side there. So your 7 to 10 day forecast, again, numbers today will hit their highs early and then drop throughout the rest of the day with showers leaving the Mid-South, clearing skies into tonight, and temperatures by dinner time could be in the lower to mid 50s. Lower 50s for high temperatures tomorrow, and again, partly cloudy skies out across much of the rest of the Mid-South. Valentine's Day looks okay, but again, toward the evening hours, that's where we may see the possibility of some problems with, again, maybe showers out there, so you and your significant and other may be looking at the potential of taking the umbrella along with you. So minor inconvenience only. No winter weather, no snow, 
nothing in the way of severe weather expected, so definitely good news on that. Rest of the week, temperatures will be very much on the mild side, lower to mid-50s, and then heading for the 60s by the time we hit next weekend. It's by the end of next weekend where we see the potential of more showers dropping on through into around Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday. That could be a bit of a problem there. Uh, doesn't look like severe weather right now, but once again, you got to pay attention to that at this time of the year as this is our prime season for severe weather in the Mid-South. And we want to make certain you stay up to date with what's going on, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you informed throughout the rest of the week. This is a segment you may not have seen before on here. This is where we take a look around the rest of the world where American military troops may be stationed at various outposts. If you have friends, loved ones, or families, we do this to connect you to what's going on overseas. And this is information that you can get uh, free of charge over the internet through the World Meteorological Organization, and you can stay up to date with what the weather is, where it may be happening, where your friends or loved ones would be. So into Iraq, temperatures close to sunset with a little bit of rain around uh, Basra and back toward Najaf, and cloudy skies around Baghdad in the 60s and 70s, upper 50s back up toward Mosul. Heading into the Persian Gulf, temperatures mainly back in the 60s and 70s with some very breezy winds. A little bit of rain reported around Bahrain, 68 degrees east winds with about 20 miles per hour there. Heading into Afghanistan, a big snowstorm which was very unusual for this part of the world. Last week, a lot of snow up that direction. Temperatures in the 40s for the most part. Faizabad around 40 degrees at Kabul, uh, 46 in Herat, and 60s around Kandahar, mostly cloudy this is also the time of year you can get some pretty good dust storms or sandstorms kicking up. Nothing like that showing up at this time. South Korea on the Korean Peninsula. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 20s to around the lower 30s with some clouds around Taegu. Mostly clear skies throughout the rest of the country. And heading back into around the area of Guantanamo Bay in Cuba temperatures again very much on the balmy side no major problems with the weather being seen here although a few showers popping up from time to time down around portions of southeastern Cuba if you'd like to know more about getting ready for severe weather this is where you want to go to these are going to be skywarn spotter meetings that will be held taught by the meteorologists and personnel of the National Weather Service and this will be your opportunity to get informed as to what to do before during and after severe weather they'll even give you a special toll-free number that you can call during severe weather to let the National Weather Service know what's happening. You basically become the eyes and ears and the brains of the National Weather Service out in the field so you can report back what's going on. Now what you see here is again just the first five meetings that will be taking place. There's going to be about two dozen of them throughout the course of the rest of the next several weeks across the Mid-South. The one for Memphis will be on Thursday, March 23rd, if memory serves. And if you'd like to know more about this, all you have to do is go to this website right here, wreg.com slash weather, for more details. Memories of Ice Storm 94, if you'd like to drop by my Facebook page and see what several people have written in around what they remember from 23 years ago when the Mid-South got buried beneath a couple of inches of ice and the aftermath of that over the next several days. Some very nice remembrances out there. You can drop by my Facebook page. That's at Austin and Onik, WREG, to find out more information. Also, again, available on all of these social media networks out across the Mid-South. As soon as I figure out how to get it located on Game Boy, I will let you know about that. Download our app today. Go search WREG Weather at your particular app store to find out more about keeping up to date with weather in the Mid-South where it comes to the News Channel 3 weather experts, and also keep up to date with the weather forecast throughout the rest of the day today and into later on tonight. We will be on a little late on News Channel 3 at 10, thanks to the Grammys that will be on News Channel 3 starting on later on tonight. But we will have a complete update of your forecast available on News Channel 3 at 5 a little bit later on this evening. Again, be sure to join me on all these social media networks for the complete forecast, science, climate, all kinds of general geekery available. So thanks to everybody for tuning in for the early edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Questions, concerns, comments, any ideas about what you would like to see on here, please let me know. I can't process your thoughts. My psychic powers are a little bit below par. So again, if you'd like to tell me what you'd like to see on here, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic with a quick update of your forecast on our video weather blog called Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day and this afternoon and this evening on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me.